Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. And we're so glad you could be with us today. We're back with our next video in our Cake Biz series and we want to start by thanking everyone for their awesome questions and comments. We've been getting a lot of great feedback mm -hmm. on all of the videos and we're just really, really happy that you guys are enjoying them and that you're letting us know how much they're helping you, we're getting encouraging that a lot. Yeah. you and that really encourages us. I mean that really keeps us going and we just love, love, love reading so much wonderful, positive feedback. I don't think we have gotten a mm. single negative comment, which I'm really, really happy about that. So Absolutely. that's wonderful. Today we're going to be talking about how to have a stress-free cake business. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> and to us, that is everything. That's why we enjoy our business yep. so much. So I know a lot of you guys have questions on time management and how to plan and organize and all of those things are very, very important when it comes to having not just a stress-free cake business, but anxiety-free, mm -hmm. peaceful. I mean, my God, there's yeah. nothing like peace and you, you all will testify to You can't that. put a price on peace of mind. You can't put a price on peace of mind. But before we get into today's topic, like always, we're going to go ahead and read some of your awesome comments and we're going to start with Patricia Murillo. Hi, Patricia. And she says, God bless you, Laura and Arnie. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. God bless you too. God bless you. She says, I am just a hobby baker, but you inspire me to have a business. That's awesome. I watched all your videos. Thank you for taking the time to open people's eyes and validate their work. You're very, wow. very welcome. That's what it's all about. That's right. Is helping you guys see that your work really is worth it. And that you're worth something. That you're worth more than just yeah. something. I mean, your time is worth it. Your talent is worth it. Your art is your work so that we can all just start believing a little bit more in ourselves mm -hmm. and start having the businesses that we were meant to have. That's right. So thank you for your comment, Patricia. This next awesome comment is from That's Delish. Hi, That's Delish. And she says, thank you so much for your videos. You're very welcome. I came across your first video by accident <laughs> and I think it was meant to be. I do too. And she says, you have helped me to think of my business in a different way. That's mm. awesome. The biggest thing that I hear in my head is they are not your customer. It's so awesome <laughs> to know that people are actually listening and taking to heart. It's ringing what we in say. her head. Yeah, yeah. And she says, I have been sticking to my quoting, pricing, and not getting emotional when they decline to book with me or try to entice them to book by offering discounts mm. and other bonuses to get their order. That's so awesome, wow. and I bet you feel really good about yourself <laughs> now that you're not doing those things anymore. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. You're both legends in my eyes. That's wow. wonderful. <laughs> Lisa from That's Delish in Perth, Western Australia. Good day to you, Lisa. Good day. <laughs> this next awesome comment is from Sol Aldana. Hi, Sol. And she says, hi, guys. Just a small message to say thanks for these videos. You're very welcome, Sol. After raising our prices, I thought our orders would decline, but we have been so busy. Mm -hmm. huh? That's you right. See? Right clients. Yeah, she raised her prices and now she has even more business. That's awesome. And the birds of a feather flock together. That's right. That's right. Good clients breed mm -hmm. more good clients. And the same for bad clients. And too. vice versa. Exactly. Yeah. She says, thanks for helping us get on the right track. You're very, very wow. welcome. And she says, saludos desde Juarez. Right, wow. our neighbor. Right on the other side. Aquí en Juaritos. Of the, right on the <laughs> other side of the Rio Grande. That's awesome. So you're very, very welcome. And man, I mean, really, that just makes all the wow. difference in the world. Just knowing that the advice and the tips and the suggestions that we're giving you guys that not only are you taking the time, you know, to watch these videos, but you're actually applying them. You're actually doing it. And those of you that have had the courage to actually follow the advice, mm -hmm. the tips and the suggestion, you are seeing firsthand that it works. If any of you have any doubt whatsoever about anything that we've discussed in any of the videos, just do it and you'll see that that's it works. I mean, that's why we're doing these videos right. because we want to see every single cake artist succeed we want to see you guys avoid all of the unnecessary trouble that we've been through mm. we want you guys to benefit from our mistakes benefit from everything that we've been through and we want to continue hearing all of that wonderful feedback from you guys keep letting us know those of you that are having the courage to actually do it let us know that it's working yes. and then that also encourages everybody else leave your awesome comments leave your positive feedback for everyone to read 
That way they can see for themselves that this truly, truly does work. And I guess this would be a perfect time to mention that we're still registering for our next cake pricing webinar happening June 25th. So there's still room for you if you guys want one-on-one -on -one help. It's an online class with me and I will teach you how to charge correctly for your work. I look at your individual cakes and then of course we talk about so many things that have to do with the business of cakes. So this is really, really great help for cake artists that are struggling that would really like special help with their cake business. We're here for you. We're more than happy to help. So if you're interested in reading more about it or would like to register, go ahead and check out the cake pricing webinar link underneath this video. It's a great investment. This next awesome comment is from Sherry Cooley. Hi, Sherry. And she says, thank you so much for sharing your time and advice. You are a godsend and an answer to prayer. Wow. That's very, very <laughs> kind of you. Thank you so much. I have posted the 21 day cake artist challenge in two places and have put it into practice. That's awesome. Wow. And for those of you that missed last week's video, we talked about the cake artist challenge that I had posted underneath that video and I'll post it again underneath this video for those of you that struggle with confidence with courage which is we need to have right, that right. in order to be able to quote correctly for our work so have that backbone yeah and she says what an amazing difference it has made in not only my thinking but in my self-esteem as a cake wow. artist mm -hmm. so that's wonderful wonderful she's sharing. on fire yeah she's <laughs> on fire and thank you and that really that really i mean super super encourages me so again, guys, if you want to check out that link, the one that Sherry's talking about, the Cake Artist Challenge, mm. go ahead and check that out underneath the video. She says, one of the things that I would love for you to address is time management. And that's exactly what we're talking wow, about today. And organizing your business in order to have a stress-free cake business. So we're definitely going to cover this today. And she also goes into saying, you know, how is it possible to be able to organize your time when you have cakes and cupcakes and cake pops and orders are due on different days and so we'll get into all of that and the family and, and the kids. family and kids and you know right. a husband and oh my <laughs> god <laughs> but we're going to talk about all of those things it is totally possible she says when do you begin making decorations baking cakes mm. making frosting all of those things this is gonna be good. right right i really love this comment sherry thank you so much she says any advice and information you can share it would be great Greatly appreciated. I treasure your videos and look forward to the next. God bless and thank you. God bless you, Sherry. Thank you, thank you so you. much. So it is possible, guys. It is totally possible to have a stress-free cake business and, like we said, anxiety-free right. and peaceful cake business. And it all comes down to getting really, really good at managing our time. Right. Some of us struggle with being organized, and that's totally understandable because in the beginning, when I first started. I was just winging it. You, you know, were all just, over the place. All over the place, just doing what I you know, could, and I was not at all organized. And of course, as many of you know, that when we're not organized, when we are procrastinating, leaving things to the last minute, it's nothing but headaches. So we're gonna show you guys how we do things around here, how we get organized, and how we stay organized. And that'll help somebody, I'm sure. It will, definitely. So let's first talk about making sure that we don't have too much on our plate, that we are not putting too much on mm -hmm. our plate. So this kind of reminds me of a person here in town that you ran into. He goes to Hobby Lobby a lot, <laughs> and he runs into a lot of cake artists. And I remember one time... And they stopped me. <laughs> yeah, they stopped you. And I remember one time he came home with a lady's business card that does cakes here in El Paso. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was reading the back of her card, and my God, she offered everything under the sun. <laughs> I mean, there were cakes, of course, custom cupcakes, uh, cake pops, chocolate covered pretzels, drizzles, yeah, chocolate, marshmallows, chocolate fountains, chocolate fountains, uh, cake toppers. What else was on there? Man, I can't. And there were. She also offered so centerpieces and mm. cupcake towers. And I told Arnie, my God, I mean, <laughs> all she needs to offer now are like manicures and yeah. pedicures and all of that stuff. It was just crazy. And she fixes flats, and I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it just blew my mind. And it's no wonder that so many cake artists are stressing out and just freaking out about And I've gotten so many emails about people saying, you know, how do you handle your cupcake towers and how do you handle the rentals for this and rent? And we don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> 
So our number one suggestion, I mean the first tip that we're gonna give you guys in this video is don't do too much. Find out mm, what you're good. really, really good at. And I can say from experience, because okay. we have tried in the past, you know, cookies and cake pops and all of those things. And it just got to the point where it was just so stressful. And really we sat down and asked ourselves, really how much money mm. are these other little extra things bringing in? I mean, cake pops, yes, they're beautiful. They're in high demand. People are ordering cake pops like crazy. And God bless you if you do them. And God bless you if, if you do them, yes. But again, guys, make sure that you're charging correctly. Mm. That's if you good. find that you are spending hours and hours and hours out of your week Hello. making pretzels and you know little tiny cookies individually wrapped and cake pops and all of those things and it really didn't bring that much money in then you may want to consider not offering those things anymore so we specialize mm -hmm. in only custom cakes and cupcakes I know some of you only specialize in cupcakes some of you only do cake, some of you only do cake pops, and that's wonderful. But just really think about when you do too much, think about all of the stress that it creates. So that's just tip number one. Figure out what you're really, really good at and stick to that one or two, maybe three things tops and get really good at doing that one thing and that will eliminate so much stress and so much anxiety. Our next suggestion for having a stress-free business is not taking last-minute orders. Oh, hell yeah. And, you know, we have talked a little bit about this in all the other videos. And this reminds me of my very first crazy cool caking tip. It was tip number one on my Facebook wow. page. If you guys want to read all of the tips that we've done, there's like close to 200. Wow. Uh, just go to the notes section in our Facebook page. And this and is number one. And this is number one. Wow. And you can follow the link underneath the video. I'll put that there also. And tip number one was your client's emergency is not your emergency. Mm. So in the last video, we talked about how important it is for people to be booking in a timely manner. Mm, that's good. Booking orders with you in advance. And many of you, and including us, in the past, we have taken last minute orders and you know how much stress that creates. Never worth it, right? Never worth it. So you want a stress-free business? No more last minute orders. I mean, if the first thing you hear when you answer the telephone is where are you located? <laughs> Chances are they're wanting a last minute cake. And you guys also know that people that are ordering last minute, they do not have the money to be able to order a nice custom cake like the ones that you guys make. They're running around town. So very important, guys, to make sure that people book in a timely manner with you. Very important, guys, not to take cake orders because you need the money. And that's really the reason why most people take last minute orders is because of the money. So if you start doing things just because of the money, very quickly you're going to start to get unhappy with your cake business. Ask me how I know, okay? <laughs> so enjoy your business. Don't be driven by the money. Don't take last minute orders. And like you said That's a little good. while Don't ago. That's good. Don't be driven by the money. Right. That's and good. you said a little while ago, birds of a feather flock together. That's right. So, you know, we've talked about this a lot in my cake pricing webinars. Bad clients breed more bad clients. So you're telling me that somebody calls for a last minute order, they're going to tell their friends, oh yeah, they'll do it too. Yeah, they'll do it for yeah. you too. And they'll do it cheap. You know, <laughs> so if you do not want those types of clients, guys, don't be taking last minute orders. And I know it's kind of scary, especially for those of us that struggle with our courage. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with just flat out coming out to your client or potential client and telling them, I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't do emergency orders. If you're going to do an emergency order, make sure that it's going to be worth it. Anyone that calls around here calling on a Tuesday, wanting a cake for that Saturday, we tell them, you know, we usually don't do emergency orders, but if we are able to do it, the order has to be a minimum of $500 or else we're not even going to lift a finger. That's and right. of course, like I said, they never have the money. That's what I right. Yeah. And so you guys want clients that are organized, that are responsible, that plan. And of course, we want to be that type of cake artist as well. Organized, responsible, and we plan ahead. So and your clients are going to tell the, their friends too, no, you got to book way yeah, in advance. Yeah, you got to book way in advance. Yeah, if you need a cake in a couple of days, don't even bother calling them. Okay, so that's tip number two, no last minute orders. Now let's get into how to manage our time wisely so that we can have a stress-free cake business. 
and I want to direct you guys to something that's really, really going to help you. There's a link underneath this video to a Facebook post, and it's got a little poster, and it would be a really great idea if you guys would print it out and hang it somewhere where you'll see it every single day. That's good. And I created this a few years ago. This is a guide that I created for how to break tasks down throughout the week so that you can do things in a timely manner stress-free without freaking out and worrying or anything like that <laughs> and it would just be a really good idea for you guys to take a look at that so let's just give you a scenario you know sherry asked a little while ago well what days would you do what mm. things mm -hmm. okay so let's pretend let's create the scenario that the cake is due on saturday and this okay. is actually how we do things and we stick to it i mean we stick to it religiously and we've learned that as long as we stick to it, we're never going to be yes, stressing right. out. And it really is a wonderful thing, guys, to be able to finish a cake and, you know, your heart's not beating a million miles an hour. You're not sweating. It's not 3, 4 in the afternoon and you're not starving to death. You didn't stay up the night before until 4.35 in the you morning. You just kind of go on with your day. Yeah, you go on with your day. And that's usually the way it is for us on the weekends. We get up at a nice time, you know, Saturday morning. The cake is already practically done. We just pull it out. We let it go to room temperature. We add the final touches. We steam it, right? It looks beautiful. Take our pictures, take our video, and- I'm off. And you're off, <laughs> you're off. And it's really, really wonderful, guys. You know, I see a lot of cake artists on Facebook and Instagram and it's almost like they're proud of the fact that they stayed up till 4.35 in the morning <laughs> decorating a cake. And I'm so sorry guys, but in my opinion, that is just crazy. And then of course they go on a rant complaining about how stressed out they were and how so many things went wrong. Well, of course, if you're doing things at the last minute, that you know, staying up till three, four in the morning, things are gonna go wrong because you're exhausted, you're tired. You're in a bad mood, you know. Sounds like a TV show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's horrible. And how do we know? Because we've been there. I mean, we used to take as many orders as we possibly could on the weekends for the money. And we realized that when we what started... What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? I mean, it, it got bad, guys. And we'll be totally honest with you. I mean, we work together. We see each other every day, all day, 24-7. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> some of you guys enjoy having your husband go to work during the day. And you get a little <laughs> bit of time to yourself. But, I mean, we are just literally staring at each other in the face. You got to look at this mug all, all day, day long. <laughs> all day, every day. So you can just imagine. I mean, if just one of us gets in a bad mood, forget it. You know, so that's why it's so important, guys, to stick to or attempt to, okay, stick to this little uh, schedule that we're going to talk to you guys about because it's just absolutely horrible. And you guys know it's horrible staying up, you know, till three, four in the morning, which reminds me of what I was talking about. Sure. You know, so many of these cake artists, they hashtag their photos with the team no sleep. And like I said, it's like they're proud of the fact that they stayed up till three, four in the morning. I mean, I'm sorry guys, but how dumb can you get? And I mean, still be breathing. And still be breathing. <laughs> I mean, why in the world are you gonna do that to yourself? I mean, it's so bad for your health guys to be stressing out and freaking out and starving That's to right. death and not sleeping. Health. I remember when I was a teacher, when I started doing my cake business and I was a teacher and I remember having to supposedly I was supposed to get up at 6 45 in the morning to start getting ready to go to work because I had to be at work by by 7 45 yeah. at the latest and I remember it was 5 in the morning and I was still making buttercream for a cake that I was supposed to deliver that afternoon after I got off work and I remember I just broke down crying I mean I was exhausted I was starving and there was just no way in the world and you asked the question what am I Doing. What am I doing? I mean, there's yeah. no way in the world that this cake is going to get done. And that's when I finally decided I'm going to just stop being stupid mm. and I'm going to change the you way that I'm doing everything. Yeah, I came to myself. And ever since then, I have created this schedule and we have stuck to it. And it's going to help some. And it's going to help a lot of you. And, and since I posted it, tons of people oh, have right. said yeah. that they stick to it religiously. They printed it out, they hang it on their fridge. and. That makes me feel so good to know that 
it has helped people That's and right. it's gonna help you for those of you that haven't seen it it's gonna help you so you gotta break down your tasks you can't do everything the night before I mean there's some <laughs> cake artists that they're still make, making they're barely making decorations the night before the cake is come done. on man I mean ain't nobody got time for ain't that. nobody got time for that it's just crazy Ain't nobody got time for ain't that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody got, got time for that. that. Right, you guys have seen the, the video, right? Help me Jesus, it's a fire. Yeah. <laughs> Help me Jesus, I'm having a heart attack because I'm a freaking idiot and I stayed up till 4.35 in the morning. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy. It is what it is. It's la vida loca. I mean, that's just nuts. All right, guys, so sorry about that. I mean... You were going on a rent. I was, I was going on a rent. <laughs> Gotta break up your tasks throughout the week. Very important to make sure that your clients are ordering in advance. And like we talked about in the last video, for you, that could be two weeks. It could be a month. It could be two months. Whatever you guys feel is a necessary amount of time that you need in order to be able to do everything that you need to do in a timely manner. And so when you plan like this, it allows you, if you want, to do more than one cake. Now, we were at the point where we were doing five, six cakes in a weekend. That is just and crazy. And we were handling it. Yeah, we were, we were handling it. The money was great, but it created problems. Sure did. We were tired. Yeah, yeah we were tired. And you know, that's when the argument. We were too tired to spend the money? Yeah, we were too, yeah. I mean, that's when the problems start. And again, like I said, we work together. We have to work together. So we have to make sure that things are peaceful. Now, some of you work completely alone. Like Sherry says, she's doing it all by herself. But you still have other people in the house. You have your husband, mm -hmm. you have your children. You know, we definitely don't want things to go bad just because we're stressing out. And so when I started, you know, uh, figuring out how I'm gonna murder my husband and be able to bury his body in the backyard right. and well, not get caught. Right, yeah. I mean, that at that point, you know, things have got to change. Ooh. I mean, where am I gonna find a plastic sheet big enough to be yeah. able to wrap you in? I'm 185 and not like pounds, <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna drag me out there? <laughs> I mean, if you love someone and you've been married for a while, you have thought about murdering them okay guys yeah, i mean it's don't, natural yeah i mean i love jesus and everything but you know i've thought about stabbing you in the yeah, name of and jesus and then i would see jesus times. faster than you <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so stress-free okay stress-free cake business how do we do it scenario okay let's pretend the cake is due on saturday so what do we do okay and you guys can see this in the little poster on break it down one time oh, i say in our scenario if the cake is due on saturday Make sure that all of your decorations are made Monday and Tuesday. Now, of course, if the order is very big and we have a lot of decorations to make, we're definitely not going to start that week. I mean, we'll start <laughs> making decorations even two or yeah, three, two, weeks, three weeks, right? Sorry. But if it's just a regular size cake with minimal decoration, like most of our cakes right. are, something simple, we make sure that Monday or Tuesday is spent just sculpting and making handmade decorations that are gonna be added at the very, very end of the cake. That's right. Once those decorations are out of the way, it's just smooth sailing for the rest of the week. That's right, Okay. Out and of the again, way. Again, guys, remember we mentioned that we require that our balances be paid two weeks before the date of the event. That way we know the cake is completely paid for. There's no risk whatsoever of clients canceling on us after we've already started making right. decorations and things. So by the time Wednesday comes along, now all we need to think about is the cake itself, right? The, the actual bread, the cake, <laughs> the dessert that is gonna be eaten. So. Wednesday is when you bake. That's right. Okay, and we make sure that he bakes on Wednesday. No matter what is going on, the baking has got to be done on Wednesday. If we have more than one cake and we have several orders due that weekend, and for us several is two cakes, <laughs> because we no longer do more than two cakes on a weekend. I've realized that our threshold, right, our, mm -hmm. our stress and anxiety threshold is two cakes. We will never do more than two cakes ever. Again, many of you, you know, can handle three or four cakes all by yourself and more power to you. And that's the great thing about having your own cake business is that you decide what you can do, but make sure that you're doing it without stress, without anxiety, without causing yourself a heart attack, okay? 
So the baking gets done on Wednesday. The cake is due on Saturday. So we usually bake late Wednesday afternoon. And then the cake- What's this wee stuff? <laughs> You got a he mouse bakes, in your pocket? <laughs> he bakes Wednesday afternoon. I'm so glad that you like to bake, baby. I love it. I mean, I really do not enjoy baking, and it's just so awesome. It's just so awesome that everything I don't like doing, he loves mm. to do. That's wonderful. What else? Including the cooking and the ironing, and <laughs> you're just the perfect little butler, aren't you? <laughs> That's what my mom said we needed yeah. before we got married. Oh, we could use a butler. <laughs> so Somebody to take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, guys, he does the baking on Wednesday. Okay, so of course that means that he took a little bit of time either Monday or Tuesday or super early Wednesday morning and went and bought everything that we needed right. to bake the cake. So he bakes Wednesday afternoon, gets all of the baking done, and he enjoys it. I mean, I he's it. watching his baseball games and his football <laughs> games. He's got on the iPad. Amazon Prime movies on. I mean, he everything we do, we enjoy That's doing right. enjoy it your to the max. Enjoy I mean, and I'm in here you know, doing Etsy orders and I've got the music on or some, praise and worship, some good praise again. and worship or preaching or something. I mean, we really enjoy what we do because we have purposed and we have mm, decided good. to have a stress-free business. No more arguing, no more fighting. No looking back. No more wanting to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it really is enjoyable, guys. We really, really now, we enjoy our business and you can too. That's the purpose of this video. So the cakes are done. We let them cool. We wrap them up, stick them in the fridge. We. You, okay? When <laughs> I say, say we. when I say, okay? When I say we, I mean him. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. And then the baking is done and we're done. And we're done baking, you, mm. at a nice decent hour and we still have the rest of the evening and the night to enjoy. Now Thursday, what goes on on Thursday? On Thursdays, we make sure that all of the cakes get completely iced. So he makes all of the icing. Thank and you. of course, before I met him, okay, I did all of these things myself. I mm. had to, but thank God he likes to do it now. So on Thursday, we make sure that all of the cakes are iced. So realize we baked the day before. Thursday afternoon, the cake is only one day old. Okay, and, and I know that there's some cake artists out there that say, I have to bake the cake the day before. No, you don't. Wow. As long as you keep the cake refrigerated, the cake will taste absolutely perfect and exactly the same as you took it out of the oven, even if it's on the third or fourth day. So by the time we ice the cake, it's only one day old. It's still absolutely perfect, it's okay? Delicious. So I make sure all of the cakes are iced on Thursday and then we still have time to, you know, maybe do some little odds and ends here that have to do with the cake, you know, the cake board and oh, little yeah. things here and there. And then once again, stick them back in the fridge. Okay, that's Thursday. Now Friday is when I cover me. I cover the cake because he doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> I still have to teach you how to do it. Okay, so Friday I cover the cakes in fondant and I also stack them if it's a tiered cake. And so I do any minimal decoration, you know, that I possibly can on Friday, like polka dots, pinstripes, any, any fondant cutouts or any type of hand painting. Basically everything but 3D decorations because handmade 3D fondant or gum paste decorations it's not a good idea to put in the refrigerator like flowers and characters and things like that because as you know when you take the cakes out of the refrigerator no matter where you are in the world you will experience some type of condensation and so you don't want your decorations to flop not even for one minute so all of those handmade decorations are left till the very very end so we cover our cakes in fondant and we stack and we do minimal decoration on Friday night. That's Friday. And we are able to stop on Friday at a decent hour. Mm -hmm. You're never gonna see us in here at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock midnight. I mean, usually by seven or eight o'clock, we're done. Done. We're completely done and then we can enjoy our evening, still go do things with our doggies, you know, and, and and you know, for those of you that are wondering, we do not have children and I know just how difficult it is for those of you that have kids and a family and all these other responsibilities. And now you see why it's even right. more important to break up your tasks throughout the week. Now you see why it's even more important to make sure that your clients order from you way in advance, especially when you have so many activities with kids and with your spouse and 
so many family things going on. Some of you work full-time jobs and then you still have to come home and take care of the kids and the husband. And, you know, trust me, I know because I've spoken with so many cake artists in my webinars and just, you know, in general, where they tell me sometimes I can't even start working on any of the decorations or the cakes until everybody's gone to sleep. Wow. And that is totally understandable. But if that's the case, don't work yourself to death. I mean, if you know that you can't start doing anything until after everyone's gone to bed, that doesn't mean that you have to stay up till three or four in the morning. Just work for an hour or two and break up the tasks even more. Instead of what we're talking about, you can break up the, de the making the decorations over several days. Right. And that way you just do a little bit at a time. And you're, it, I don't care how busy your life is. If you have kids, you have a husband, you have a full-time job, remember, you're choosing to still have a cake business. So if you're choosing to have that responsibility of a cake business, then you have to use wisdom and you have to sit down and you have to plan. What day am I going to do what thing so that I can still rest, so that I can still sleep? so that I can still eat when I'm supposed to and still take care of my family and still be able to deliver a beautiful custom cake to my clients. It is possible. It's just a matter of managing your time wisely. And like we said at the very beginning of the video, if you have too much on your plate and you're offering too many things, cookies and cake pops and pretzels and pedicures and manicures <laughs> and massages and all of these things, it's time to start eliminating some of those things from your life so that you can just stick to a couple of things, do them, do them well, and more importantly, enjoy doing them. Enjoy offering those services to your clients. So by the time Saturday morning comes around, we wake up rested. Coffee's ready. Coffee's ready. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. He makes the best coffee. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, we're able to put on the music and we know that we're going to work for maybe an hour or two before you have to deliver. Okay. Mm -hmm. I pull the cake out of the fridge and then we just add the final decorations, add the ribbon to our board. And usually, you know, adding the decorations and making my royal icing and decorating the cake and taking pictures and doing all of these things takes an hour or two and then we're done we are done and it's just so nice to be able to walk him out the front door see him place the cake in the car nice and, and carefully you know nice and carefully <laughs> and i tell them let me know what they said call me when you get back in the car and let me know what their reaction was and we're done mm -hmm. and then we're still able to rest for the rest of the weekend and then the week starts all over again and so in, oh, you forgot to mention you clean up while I'm delivering. And I clean up while you're delivering, right. And so then the week starts all over again on Monday. On Sunday, we do nothing other than go to church. Right. And we just enjoy our weekend. And so we have learned, guys, how to have a stress-free business, how to have a peaceful business. It took a long time to get here. It took a lot of um, very stressful and upsetting situations to get to where we are. So what we're telling you, it works. You get to get the help right away. Right away. So if you guys have been experiencing the type of cake business where, you know, you're running around doing things last minute, you, you know that you stress out a lot. Going um, crazy. Yeah. If it's creating, you know, uncomfortable situations at home. Friction. Then you yeah. need to sit down and just think for a few minutes and look at everything that you're doing and ask yourself, okay, what things can I eliminate? What things can I stop doing? And if you by nature are a procrastinator, and if you know that you tend to put things off until the last minute, then it's time to change the way we're doing things. What, what's the definition of insanity? Doing things over and over again the same way and expecting a change. And expecting a different result. And it's never gonna happen unless we start doing things differently. Look at your life. Look at your cake business and where can you also find more time? Look at your personal life and see where you're maybe wasting time. You know, these days, nowadays, you know, everyone is just on their cell phones all the time. Everyone is scrolling, just scrolling, spending scrolling. <laughs> so much time. And in my opinion, wasting so much time mm -hmm. on Facebook and Instagram, all kinds of social media. So ask yourself, I mean, 
is all of that time that I'm spending, you know, on social media, is it benefiting me? Is it helping me? Yeah. Is it helping me? How much time do you spend watching television? How much time do you guys spend doing things that are not helping you, that are not bettering your life, that are not benefiting you? The reason why we're suggesting you do all of those things is because we had to do it. We finally got to the point where we decided, okay, we either have to quit and just go get regular jobs. <laughs> Or, not happening. <laughs> not happening. Or we need to fix the problems. And we sat down and we eliminated all of the things that were not benefiting our lives. I mean, we have a cake business because we are in business to make money. Why are we in business to make money? So that we can have a better life. And so for those of you that are wondering, you know, is it possible? Is it really possible? to make a good amount of money having a cake business from your home. Yes, it is. Sure. For those of you that don't know, I used to be a full-time eighth grade science teacher. And I was also the soccer coach, the girls soccer coach. I was the head of the science department. And I had so many things on my plate that You're brought amazing. me extra stipends. And I made a very good amount of money. And my husband here for almost 19, 20 years was a banker. And so, you know, it's scary. It's scary leaving your job to follow your dream and so we did it and then that's when we started doing things for the money we thought well we don't have these jobs anymore and now it's all up to it up. Yeah. you know we gotta make tons and tons of cakes to make the same amount of money or more than what we were making before and that's when things just got crazy things just got out of hand and talk about stress talk about anxiety so now that we're doing everything differently, now that we eliminated all of these time wasters, all of these things that are not benefiting our lives, everything's different. We run a stress-free, peaceful, anxiety-free, and, and successful. prosperous, yeah. successful cake business. Your business should grow every single year. You should have more quality clients every single year. And of course, with time, we get smarter and smarter, we make wiser decisions, and we continue to eliminate sure. things that are hindering our progress. And if we're doing it, guys, you can do it too, okay? So look at your life, look at your business, and let's start eliminating things that are just getting in our way. And that, of course, is for those of you that really do have hopes and dreams of having a successful cake business. If we're doing it, you can do it. God is doing it for us. He can do it for you. Right. So number one thing, of course, trust God and ask him for wisdom, just like we do. And if we're able to do it, you can do it too. And all of these things that we're giving you tips and advice on, again, like we mentioned in the beginning, they work. And if you don't think they work, just try it yep. and you'll see that it does work. All right, guys. So if you have any questions whatsoever on time management on anything that we've covered in any of the other videos remember you can always leave your questions and comments in the comments section below and as you can see you know i answer everybody's questions and we also want to let everyone know in case you haven't yet make sure that you purchase your cake artist guide for oh, those very important you, yeah it's super important especially if you don't know what one hour of your time is worth and like we said in the very first video if you don't know what one hour of your time is worth, you're never going to know how to charge correctly for your work. So all of these uh, tips and advice, of course, are under the stipulation that you know how to charge correctly for your work. And also remember, guys, we are registering for our upcoming cake pricing webinar. I would love to meet many, many of you in person. So if you need one-on-one -on -one help with anything having to do with the business of cakes, you still need to learn how to charge for your work. The help is here for That's you. It's going to be a lot of fun. And also we wanted to let you guys know that this Cake Biz video series will always continue, but we're going to go ahead and just put out these videos maybe every few weeks, once a month, and we'll still be getting questions and comments from you guys from all of the videos. But uh, we're going to go back to doing some more of our tutorials right, like right. we always have been. We just wanted to get that important stuff out yeah. in all those videos. So first. all of the videos that we cover already, I think, are like the most important things. The meat. The meat, the right. actual meat. The most important things that cake artists need to know in order to have a successful but cake business. If you need more, and, and you probably will, sign up for the webinar. Yeah, sign up for the webinar. Anything you guys need, you know that we're here for you. All right, guys, we love you so much. Thank you again for the wonderful feedback. Thank you for joining us in this Cake Biz video series. 
You know that we love you. We're here for you. Anything at all you need, just go ahead and leave all of your questions and comments below. And we'll see you guys in our next Cake Biz video. Love you guys. Thanks, guys. Take care. God bless you. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.